We were waiting to hear back and there was nothing more that our brains could possibly do but wait. Happy two months. Just mm -hmm. having some <laughs> swinging mm -hmm. tummy time. Yeah, he likes it. That is awesome. He's taking in all the trees around us. He has loved looking at plants since like the day yeah. we brought him home. I guess they are kind of like high contrast. Mm -hmm. Go, buddy, with the head turn. <laughs> Because it's so that is so sweet. <laughs> this is our first hand. Or I guess you sat in a little Oops. swing. Yeah. Hey Ollie, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Just been in development. Oh, I was just resting his cheek on Peter's cheek. And it is just the sweetest thing. Totally melting into Peter. <laughs> That was the most magical morning, sitting in the hammock in the sun with Elijah, celebrating two months. Oh, the sun. It, I said to Mary while we were out there, I cannot wait for summer. Just moments in the backyard and I don't know, there's just something super relaxing about that morning and Elijah's sleeping. I'm working on getting the video up for today. You have three minutes. Oh, I, okay, bye. I didn't really mean that you had to like go right now. I was I mean, kind of joking, but. It's kind of, kind of urgent. Oh. You're right there, partner? I'm good. I just need to stretch it out. Mm. <sighs> All right, I think we are going to we love to rearrange. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to take them out to the third floor okay. and show them what we're thinking. Okay, but you now only have two minutes. Okay, okay. <laughs> the, the pressure, though. The pressure. <laughs> um, we're going to rearrange the third floor and kind of extend our working space up to the that bedroom and just do a little rearranging. And we might go to Habitat for Humanity Restore to look for a little bit of cabinetry for that third floor. We'll see what happens. During the adoption process, there were lots of puzzles that were done in this home. It was such a good way to occupy our minds in the evening after work was done for the day, after papers had been submitted and we were waiting to hear back and there was nothing more that our brains could possibly do but wait. <laughs> and so we puzzled. We did puzzles. We watched shows. We watched a show while we did a puzzle. And it was a great way for us to spend time together, but also like all that nervous energy. When we were doing puzzles, we were like, like furiously, not furious mad, but like quickly, quickly, like sorting out the edges. <sighs> We wouldn't be talking frantically, we'd just be doing it frantically. <laughs> now, yeah, you know, like we showed it on the videos, like we're doing puzzles, like we're really into puzzles, but we didn't say why we were doing puzzles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was a lot in the process that there was really no way to articulate. It just. <laughs> It just was, you know? It's a process. So we processed and we puzzled. And now we've done only a couple puzzles because now our days and our evenings are made up of sweet newborn times. We did, however, purchase a puzzle. We had a gift card and we got this puzzle at TJ Maxx. So we will work on this soon. It's 500 piece. We found that 500 or less is a good number. And so I was bringing it down here because we have a puzzle table that we have right under here. And I'm going to put this here and soon we shall do it. I'm excited. 
I put my robe on this couch because when I sit down to feed Elijah, I wanted something cushioned underneath me. And Oliver agrees that it really adds to the comfortability of the couch experience, as you can see. He approves. Are you just the sweetest poodle? Are you our standard poodle? Yes, you are. That's a sweet poodle. Love you. Love you, Bonesy. Okay, I just remembered, because I saw it in that basket behind me. I remembered to not forget to fill this out. Ooh, that's deep. Remember to not forget. All right, that was January. February, we have one thing written. February the 3rd smiled at us for the first time in the mirror. So, right now it is February 21st. That is his two month birthday. Oh, we could write the first time we went to church. Oh yeah. February um, 6th. And then the next week was the first time I preached. Yes. And then I'm gonna look through my pictures in February and see if I missed anything monumental. Do you guys know about the adoption triad? This necklace is representing the adoption triad. So a triangle is representing uh, the adoptive child or the adoptee. Um, the the birth parents and the adoptive parents. And it also has a little heart. Sweet. It was a gift from a friend. Okay, let's see if I'm forgetting anything I need to write in the book. Holding his head up amazingly. I don't know what date to put that on. Like day one. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's crazy. He just is... I feel like... Oh, what? When did he start standing? Like, hold you hold his hands. Yeah, oh, I actually... Do you have a picture? I do. Yes. See, that's the nice thing with taking pictures on your phone. It of absolutely everything. It documents the dates and times of everything. Mm -hmm. And locations. Truth. Uh, it was this day. Okay. Or the day before, I think. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Maybe there's like a dust in the air. Mm. Is it a cough or just a dust? <laughs> February 10th. I'll put okay. that as the day he started wanting to stand up. Having a good time here, hair? While I'm walking by the laundry room, I thought I'd tell you guys a story. We had to get a new dryer. Our dryer broke over the weekend. I think it was like Friday night, we were doing a load of um, cloth diapers and the dryer, well first we had like a power surge, um, the power in the house kind of went off for a second and I think that might have been what fried the heat, heating element in our old dryer and because it would run but it wouldn't heat. Anyways, I looked up some videos about how to fix it. Ultimately decided it'd be easier to find a used one on Facebook Marketplace. And we got it for $150. And it matches. It's an older model of the washer and dryer set that we had in here. Which is the same washer. But now we have a new dryer. And voila. Now we can do laundry. Okay, you guys ready to hear about the project? Woot woot. Woot woot. We have Christmas stuff up here that we need to put away, but that's beside the point. Ollie, how did you get up here? Last time I saw you were downstairs. He came up. He's fast. Okay, here's here's my idea. Okay, so. Here, let me film you and you reenact it. Okay. I was sitting up here working the other day and I'm realizing as 
this is just the evolution of our online store. We continually have more and more things that we're working on, which means we need more and more places to store things and have inventory. And places to process them. Yes. Not just store them, but like process. Yes. And basically we're making <coughs> more shirts here at our house and that means having inventory of shirts and packaging products, all the things. Anyways, so I had this idea. Because our third floor has these sloped ceilings, this space is not <coughs> usable or it's <coughs> like you can hit your head on the ceiling. <coughs> so I thought, what if we basically made a built-in for this entire wall and one thought I had was it could look really nice. Basically have cabinets, kitchen cabinets or cabinets on the bottom and then build bookshelves up into this slope ceiling. And so it'd be like a built-in uh, bookshelf slash, slash cabinets and it can be places where we can store, store stuff. But I also thought when you come up these stairs that would be what you see and I think it'd be pretty beautiful and we could I was thinking we could put a TV in the middle kind of build that into the built-in right and now we have this TV up here for guests yeah we just have it on this little like side table and so I thought if we switch the bedroom portion of this room to this side I don't know why we never thought of doing that I mean not that it's any better than having it here but I feel like that kind of makes it so you aren't just walking up into a bedroom, you're walking up into an office, and then we have a bedroom up here. Does that make sense? So there you go. There you go. So we could go ahead and swap the bed yeah. up here. Yeah, let's do that. But basically we're trying to find a cheap way to do it. Cabinets. We don't want to like spend a ton of money on building like a built-in, a custom built-in or anything. But if we could find used cabinets or... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So, to switch. Hey, Ollie, do you mind if we move that bed? Uh, he answered. <laughs> he put his head right down. This is the sort of project that gets a lot worse before it gets any better. So, get ready for a disaster. <laughs> Some of you have asked in the past why we don't put the working room on the third floor because there's more space up there. We could use the closet for storage. And every time I think about it, I'm like, why don't we do that? But then I remember the third floor is so nice to have for guests because there's a, it's basically like a master suite up there. There's a, it's actually, I like that bathroom better than our bathroom. Well, ours has the soaking tub. That doesn't have a tub up there. But the shower up there has two shower heads. It's super nice. And so it's a really nice space for guests whenever they come and stay with us to have, they can kind of retreat up to the third floor or we can kick them out of the downstairs and say, you need to go up to the third floor. We need some space. And it's a it's a nice space so that is the reason that we don't put the working room up there but we're talking about spreading the working room up there i know but i feel like if we do it in with built-in cabinets it's like an aesthetically pleasing way to store store stuff up there that will actually be functional because it'll be like a tv stand for go. the guests Beautiful. so I, I like this idea. I really want to be able to do it practically and not expensively. So I kind of feel like we might, it might be a very extended project of until we find the right used pieces to put into place. I've looked up some DIY built-ins and most of them use kitchen cabinets as the base and then build the bookshelf part. I think that's what I'll do. So if you have some used kitchen cabinets, 
hook us up. All right. Okay, so we came to Habitat for Humanity and uh, the Restore. And we're looking at kitchen cabinets. He's going to lose his hat. Oh, no. Mary found a rocking chair to rock Eli in, though. And they do have some cabinets. I, w I would show you the ones that could be a possibility, but somebody's looking at them right now. So, um, yeah. So we're just having fun. This is a pretty cool restore. It's a lot of fun stuff. Oh, look, I just noticed that it says restore with all those things on the wall.